So hey guys, um, we are at SPS Motorsport and we just do some videos in English. So um, hopefully you understand everything and my English is not too German. So um, yeah, we had a pretty interesting thing. Uh, we saw on our builds, I think back in 2016, it was the first engine which we uh, developed uh, on a stock spring. We just used a, a little bit more aggressive cam. Uh, on ITB setup and what we saw is that what Craig Peters saw on, on his car uh, I think two months ago that the valve clearance was too small after a 24 hour race and the valve came complete into the head and we had no valve uh, clearance anymore. I did not see that about one year and then after another year just it started to look like uh, we have that issue again um, but not especially just on um, ITB or on uh, high natural aspired, uh, natural aspired, high powered natural aspired cars. Uh, we saw the issue on also on turbo cars. So when we build it up a VVT or a NB engine, special the VVT, uh, let's say with the EFR turbo or with the road tracks, whatever. What we saw on some engines that the valve clearance is also too small or it, there was no uh, valve clearance anymore. So I was looking around and, uh, what the problem could be. So um, I was checking the, the valve springs at all and said, okay, probably is something with that. But it's strange because when we running with 0.7 bar of boost, we run a complete stock engine. We don't have that problem. It's just there when we overhaul the engine. So our first thinking was, okay, we used the first engine SuperTech valves. Uh, we thought, okay, they are not the best quality. Then we used standard valves. Okay, we had the same issue. We thought, okay, it's the same problem. We do not have the same, a good thing. Or it was also a thing of quality. Um, after that, we saw, uh, uh, we, we used Ferrara valves and we had the same issue. So okay, it's definitely not a problem from the valve because we use three different manufacturers and we still had the same issue. Um, then I said, okay, I think it's the problem of the valve spring. So what we did, we checked and we measured on the valve spring tester um, how much uh, valve spring preload got our original and how much valve spring preload got a SuperTech and our supplier CAT cams. So what we saw in the, in the way of testing and looking around that the um, SuperTech springs really difference in the preloads or in the load per kilo in millimeters uh, on each cylinder. So what we saw on 35 millimeter pressing we should have something around 33 to 35 kilos we saw all the time between 38 29 30 so it was jumping a lot and we said okay the minimum the minimum what we want to see in that particular thing is about 33 kilos and um, we saw that when you are working with the super text you have to adjust every single valve what is the problem that a standard engine get also that issue where we are talking now about? When you are assembling the complete engine or a cylinder head, you are cutting the valve seats and when the valve seat is too or when it when it when it when it's machined um, when when it's a lot machined, the valve is coming um, let's say about um, a part of a millimeter, so re not really, really much, so really a bit coming up. We are losing preload on the spring, and this is our issue. When when we are cutting and we are w cutting something on the valve, we are losing up the preload, or we are losing preload, and then the boost in the engine when you run more than one bar will um, open up the valve all the time. So the valve is working against the boost in the intake area and it's jumping on the seat and this is what you can see that the that the wearing on the on the or the the, the wearing out on the um, or the using i just do not know the, the exact word uh, on the valve is much more extreme than on a engine with low boost or with an engine with standard cams 
So what we are doing now in our builds when we're running more than one bar of boost, we are changing the springs to recommended CAD CAM springs and we do remove the SuperTech springs in our webshop at all. So what I recommend when you run in a 300 horsepower build, change the springs to CAD CAM springs. Uh, you can see in our webshop the spring um, with the preloaded, what, what we or what we suggest what the preload should be, um, where we are happy with, and you do not have that issue at all again. So I thank you very much uh, to look at our videos. It was one of our first technical videos in English, so uh, hopefully you understand everything, and if you have some questions, just drop it below and we will answer it. Thank you very much, see you soon, bye.